Welcome to Jurassic Park Trivia by Mr. Red to Clever Girl. <laughs> Say something, please. Okay, hi. <laughs> this is Mr. Red Plays, um, a usually video game uh, Let's Play series, but today we're doing something a little bit different. Something special. Uh, and uh, Clever Girl, a.k.a. Jody, this whole thing was your idea. Why don't you uh Yeah, I just figured, I, you know... Let's broaden our horizons outside of video games, mm -hmm. and let's quiz each other on what we love most. Okay, I lost track after you said no video games. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So you asked me to prepare a trivia quiz for you about something that you are very well versed and knowledgeable in. Yes. Would you say that's a fair assessment? Yes. Now you and I have never met before. Is that correct? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then you also prepared something uh, for me about something else. Right. That is going to be the next episode. Right. But it's not Jurassic Park. Right. Spoilers. So, um, what if it was? <laughs> that'd be really funny if you're like, yeah, that thing we talked about? No. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Um, so I spent some time uh, finding really kind of obscure, but also there's a range. I didn't want to be too difficult with yeah, that. Because that I was be like, mean. oh no, I I'm going to look like such a dork. I, I don't know anything. Yeah, there was a there was a class of questions that I was trying to avoid, like what was Alan Grant's mailman's name? Or how many words are in the movie? Oh gosh, is that really a... No, but do you know the answer no, to that? No, do you know no. the answer to <laughs> No, that's not a thing. <laughs> uh, weirdly, I couldn't find <clears throat> questions. So... What's going to happen is I'm going to uh, ask you these questions. I kind of did arrange them from easiest to hardest. Okay. And uh, at the end, we'll see how many questions you got right. And uh, we'll know if uh, Jody, the clever girl, is in fact a... Uh, we'll know <laughs> if jo Why is this not working? <laughs> uh, oh, joke landed. If she is a clever girl. Clever girl. Or if she is... Oh my god, I'm literally <laughs> pressing this button. All right. That is one big pile of shit. <laughs> yes. Great. This already makes me feel better. All right, okay, well, that's a disaster. Let's ignore that. Okay, so uh, would you like to just jump into this? Obviously, yes, yes. the soundboard <laughs> that I found is I'm not so <clears throat> up to snuff. Okay, so, Jody, take a deep breath. Really try to hone your mind. When's the last time you saw this movie? That's not the first question. Uh, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. So pretty are, the, are these questions just about? The I first try to keep one? the first one. Uh, oh, there's I was some stuff say, about like just in it could, general. It could have been all of them. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I, I I I have a more affiliation with the first one, so I just stuck there. Okay. So easy throw ball softball question. What does raptor mean? Bird of prey. Bird of prey. Uh, and what language is that? R Raptor? Yeah. Uh, Spanish? Probably. I don't actually yeah. have that written down. It might be Latin. It might be Spanish. Yeah. It's some kind of romance language, whatever it is. Uh, yes, Bird of Prey. Interesting. Now, uh, Bird of Prey, famous DC property. How many characters are in Birds of Prey? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> also not a question. <laughs> uh, Harley Quinn is one of them. Okay, so how did they pull off the glass rippling effect... <laughs> Uh, when the T-Rex is showing up. If anyone has ever seen this movie with me, I cannot sit through this scene without <laughs> telling everybody how it was done. It's really true, yeah. They had their sound and, you know, lighting mm -hmm. design guy mm -hmm. lay under the car mm -hmm. and they fed a guitar string through the bottom of it. A guitar string? And then when it was supposed to ripple, they plucked the string. Yeah, it's very clever. Uh, clever girl. Yeah. And uh, so, follow-up question, why not just hit the dashboard? Why not hit the side of the because car? Because that would make the, it would make the cup go, like, flying. I, not if you, I don't know. Uh, I was confused. That's not a real question. I just have always wondered that. Why not just, like, I think they, they tried, like, a bunch of stuff, and finally the guy, like, one day was just, like, blaring earth, wind, and fire in his car, and, oh, like, yeah. the rear view mirror started shaking, and so that gave him the idea of, like, oh, okay, like, music intonations. Right, yeah. So. Sure. Sound sound waves. Okay, what is the name of the island that Jurassic Park takes place on? Jurassic Park, the yes, original JP. The original JP. It JP is a fictional island mm -hmm. called Isla Nublar. Off the coast of Costa Rica. Coast of Rica. <laughs> That's yeah. what I call it. Awesome. You're you're a hundred percent so far. Woo! Except for that DC thing, which you really uh flubbed on, <laughs> but it dropped the ball. It's fine. We'll move past it. Uh who did the effects for the dinosaurs, the physical 
dinosaurs. Who did them? Who did them? What was the name of the guy? Stan who? Stan Winston. Stan Winston. Uh, he also did effects work on Aliens, Predator and 1 and 2. Terminator 2. Terminator, yep. yeah. Um, Edward Scissorhands. Yes. And more importantly, to my interests, Iron Man. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't mm-hmm. know that either. Um, must have been his yep. late, way late in his career. Stan Winston is... He's a legend. Yeah, it's like him and Jim Henson. They Jim Henson, like yeah. those are the two. They work together. Yeah, they? yeah, they're yeah. the two huge names in practical effects. Practical effects, which is where it's at. CG is cool and all, but like it looks crappy. Uh, it, it doesn't age well, except for in this movie, Jurassic Park, where it does look good, even though it yeah, looks I think bad. It looks good. It looked good. It's good for what it's doing. Anyway, uh, what is the sound of the T Rex roar? The T Rex. Yeah. T-Rex roaring, what sound was used? It's kind of a mix, but what's like the yeah. main one? A cu- oh, I know it. Mm-hmm. It's because Steven Spielberg, mm-hmm. before he made... No, no, no. Sorry, I'm getting my movies mixed up here. Okay. I'm going to take a complete guess. Sure, do it. Okay, let me tell the story. Okay, I would love to hear so, it. I have my popcorn. One of Steven Spielberg's like first movies was actually called Duel. D- Duel. D-U-E-L. Yeah. And it was like a car chase movie about this, you know, huge car and whatever. I've never seen it. But um, that was like one of his very first things. And it has this scene in it where this car goes like screeching over the edge of a cliff. Sure. And, you know, like metal scraping, like... Whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, they use that noise you know in his like next film which was jaws oh yeah you know j-a-w-s so he, he like wanted to draw these two lines between these two movies like dual four letters jaws sure. four letters and so the the i remember watching a documentary where he talks about like the sound when the shark finally blows up and he's like yeah it's like this tyrannosaurus rex like sound the screeching mm-hmm. it was this car going over the edge okay so since he said that that was the type of sound they used. I'm going to guess and say that it's like a car. Okay. Or metal scraping. That's my guess. That might be true. Oh, no. <laughs> but that's not what I have written down. Okay. Uh, it was a combination of a bunch of sounds, but the one, the sound designer for this movie, the thing that he talked about the most was a baby elephant because he figured that um, all, all of the sounds that younger, smaller animals make, if you slow them down, have like this texture and weight to them. Um, and they're not as recognizable as like, you know, a lion roaring or whatever, but mm. they did use like many different sounds to like create a soundscape. And so it's probably, uh, right. was used there and you can kind of hear like a screeching kind of yeah. metallic thing in yeah. there. So, uh, I'd be willing to bet that that's, that's a part of it. Okay. Well, there's my story that goes <laughs> along with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about the velociraptors when they're making their call sound? <laughs> The call, yeah, I know. Like, I know ha, ha. that is a con- it's like a combination of things as mm-hmm. well. I know some of it is a tortoise, mm-hmm. some of it's a dolphin, mm-hmm. and some of it's like a um, a seal with like a chest, like oh. a chest infection, like yeah. a. Uh, yes, that yeah. is correct. Uh, the main thing that I have written down here is mating tortoises. Yeah, because, uh, you know, apparently. have you ever seen t- tortoises yes. mate? <laughs> it's very it's strange. funny. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> There's like, ah! <laughs> mm-hmm. Apparently they had to, um, they had to, like, just wait for a long time for these things <laughs> to actually make the sounds, because tortoises are very slow, yeah. including <laughs> during these times. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> another, here's some more easy ones. The movie never explains why the torrent, the... Wait, the triceratops, triceratops is sick. I know, this is what makes me so mad. So why is the triceratops sick? <laughs> okay, well, from what I remember reading in the book by mm-hmm. Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton. They say in the movie that it's the West Indian lilac, or like that's what Dr. Sadler is most concerned about, that these dinosaurs are eating it, but she can't fi- really find any evidence of them in the stool. You know, that's mm-hmm. one big pile of shit. Gross. <laughs> um, that's a sound that wouldn't play before. Yeah. But reading the book, it's that the 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 triceratops have to swallow rocks mm-hmm. to help masticate their food. Right. Fi- some fish are like that nowadays, and there's a couple other di- um, dinosaurs, <laughs> a couple other animals, animals that do that as well. Right. They, you know, they swallow these rocks, and eventually they become smooth, and so they don't work anymore. So they either purge them 
forwards or backwards. <laughs> sure, whatever you have to do. And then they pick up new rocks, and that's why that's why it happens like every six weeks. They're getting these rocks, presumably covered in the West Indian lilac that she's worried about, or yeah. some type of plant. That's you know. right. Uh, they were eating the berries along with the stones. Yeah, but everything else. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay. So, um, yeah. They never get back to that in the movie, and that's one thing that just makes me irked. <laughs> right. It's a it's a peeve, if you will. Yeah. Um, so, that moves out of the, like, softball questions. The rest of the... Oh, no. These are... They're still kind of easy, but... Um, so, which Attenborough plays John Hammond? Richard. That's correct. Yeah. Sir, <laughs> Sir Richard Attenborough. Yes, David, David Attenborough was the Planet Earth guy, which I guess that's who whose voice I was kind of doing at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Speaking of John Hammond, who was the inspiration for John Hammond? What, oh, Lord Almighty. Who was, who was, was uh, the inspiration? Crichton basing him off of? Colonel Sanders. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. <laughs> Visually speaking, yes, but not. Uh... I see this. I don't know. When was this book written? Uh, it was written like two, three years before the movie okay, came so out. Okay, so like 90? Yeah, like 89, 90, yeah. World leaders at the time. I can't think of anybody. No world leaders. No world leader. Like somebody he, somebody we know of. No, well, no of. Yeah, of course. Uh, think about somebody who like has a theme park and who is very like. Oh, Disney. Yeah. Walt oh, Disney. okay. He was pitched as like a dark Walt Disney. Oh, okay. That makes total sense. Which That's is cool. really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, how you did... definitely gave me a huge hint with that one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how did John Hammond get his start? The flea circus yes. is what he had. He had a flea circus. That's right. Okay. Uh, how much of this movie is dinosaurs? Oh, they they say it's only like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, yep. Yeah. Uh, nine minutes of it is animatronics and six minutes is computer generated imagery. I like that it's more animatronic than... Uh, as it should be. As it should as be. As it should be. <laughs> yeah. Looking at you, Jurassic World. Jurassic World, right. <laughs> Uh, so what day in history did Jurassic Park, the movie, oh, open? Shit. It's like June. June? 3rd. June 6th. I don't know. It's really close to my birthday. It June really 7th. Is. You're going to keep going? You'll get there eventually. Oh, June 9th? No. Nope. 8th? No. Nope. Oh, God. Which... <laughs> June 11th. 11th. I, mean, I, I knew it was super close to my yeah, birthday. Yeah, it is very close. It almost uh, like not even a week away. Oh, I'm so embarrassed I didn't know that. That's okay. Uh, okay. 1993, yep. Right. We're coming up at the end, and I like these questions. I was going to try to cut it off when we got to this point, but I, I want to just finish this up. Uh, so how many people die in Jurassic Park? Um, You have the guy who dies at the very beginning mm-hmm. with the raptors. Yeah. Shooter. Shooter. Yeah, that guy. Then you have... Gennaro, Gennaro, Gennaro. I thought this was, I think this is Gennaro. Yeah, the lawyer mm-hmm. who gets eaten on the toilet. Then Nedry. Dennis Nedry. The Dilophosaurus. And then Arnold, mm-hmm. Samuel L. Jackson's character. Yep. And then Muldoon. Muldoon. So five. Five, that's right. Clever girl. Exactly five. Yes. Cool. Um, yes. <laughs> Okay, so we know that during the creation of the dinosaurs, some creative liberties were taken. Uh, that they, they decided it would be cooler or scarier, whatever, to make them look like this, even though in real life they probably looked like that. Right. So, the raptors in Jurassic Park, were they taller than real raptors? Yes. Yes. The ones in the movies were taller than what actual raptors were. Okay. Yeah. The answer is this is a trick question because initially <laughs> when they were creating it, the tallest dinosaur, the tallest raptors were about, I, I don't know exactly, eight feet or so. Um, and they wanted them, they wanted them to be taller. So they made them about 10 feet, which would be like scarier, more intimidating. Mm-hmm. But during filming, they discovered, they discovered the Utah raptor literally because it was found in Utah. Uh, which was 10 feet tall. So Aww. during, uh, I think Stan Winston was um, quoted as saying, like, we we created it and then they discovered it. Yeah. So. Oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. I, like, just a couple of days ago read that um, that they were smaller and I'm like, oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> but most of them were smaller, but, like, the they found a specific branch of raptor that was. Okay. Um, let's go on. Is there a connection between the this movie and the TV show E.R.? There probably is. <laughs> okay, would you like me to tell you what <laughs> there's it is? Probably a, there's probably a character or a actor. 
That is insane. I'm sure there are people yeah. who worked on it, but uh, creatively speaking, they were both Michael Crichton books, and Spielberg was initially working on a movie adaptation of ER. Of ER. And, and then he heard about Jurassic Park, the project coming up, and he's like, I need to be working on that. And so he worked on that and kind of lost interest in ER. But after Jurassic Park, he worked on making the TV show ER based on the book. Gosh, I've never... Have you ever seen an episode of ER? No, it seems completely like just before our time. Like, why yeah, would you bother going yeah. back It has that? George Clooney in it, like the very early episodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, last two questions. The last one is a very easy one, but the last hard question. Uh, why is the name Jurassic Park incorrect? Because most of the dinosaurs are not from the Jurassic period. What are they Cretaceous? From? Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> The uh, Velociraptors and the T-Rex, which are the two important dinosaurs, come from How the dare you? Cretaceous period. All right, the fine. The Triceratops. The trice- I didn't write this down, so here we go. We're doing an impromptu Google I'm just Google saying, search. don't say, no, don't, don't say that the Jurassic, or the T-Rex and the Raptor are the only important ones. I'm saying a, a Triceratops is uh-huh. also important. Okay. I'm not saying that it's from a different one. Is it in the movie as important? <laughs> to me, it is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, also from the Cretaceous period. So it should have been called Cretaceous Park, but Jurassic Park sounds cooler. I think Dilophosaurus are as well. I think they say, because they, you know, go through the the tour and that's what they start with. And they're like, the late Cretaceous and blah, 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 blah. Mm, Yeah, probably. Uh, but again, it really ties into those themes of like, man, like meddling where they shouldn't belong and like getting it wrong, kind of. I kind of like that, like hubris yeah. type stuff. Yeah, Cheryl Briss. Yeah, hubris. Uh, final question. What is the lawyer's name? <laughs> Gennaro. 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 I don't, I don't know his first name. His first name is Donald, which just Donald, goes to show. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's no good Donald. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about Donald Duck, obviously. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know how many you got right. Here's the score. It's on screen right now. Um, but Are I you would impressed say, with my knowledge? Yeah, you know what? I really am. You, you, you knew more than I expected. You. Did you really? Well, I thought that's like, really nice of you to say. So, uh, yeah. I, th- I thought like some of those would be like, why would anyone know this? And you were like, here it is. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I think you got most of them right, more than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, I would say I got like three wrong, maybe. I don't great. know. Great. And uh, all right. I think, you I know what? I schooled all you people. Yeah. And now you've learned something and I've learned something, which is that I love you, Aww. which I did already know. Oh, well. Uh, all right. Well, this was a fun episode. <laughs> yeah. I really like this. Uh, Comment so, below if you like episodes like this. We'll keep yeah, quizzing definitely. each other. We might do more if uh, people respond well. So, in fact, this was so much fun that I would like to be on the receiving end of this. Yeah. So, why don't we yeah. why don't we go ahead and, uh, uh, in the next episode, in two days, we're going to have another episode where you, the clever girl, which we've deemed you to be. Clever girl. Will quit. Qu- uh, we'll qu- all. <laughs> thank you. Me. On something. Yes. All right. You don't want to say what it is. No. And keep it a surprise. All yeah, right. Yeah, tune in. We'll see you in two days, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone.